music production tips in 90 seconds or less. Let's go. So if you have a texture sound like this, you can add serum effects on top of this and create your own interesting pads. So let's add serum effects. So we're gonna create a MIDI track to send to serum effects. We'll make sure that our noise oscillator is on and we have audio in selected and that our level is all the way up. Now we can come over here to our filter, go to multi, and then make sure that we're choosing the LPH 12. Basically means low pass, peak, and high pass. And then we're gonna make sure that this button here is checked. So that way we are actually triggering the specific resonant frequency based off of what we're playing on the keyboard. I'm gonna turn the drive up as well. And now to make it a bit more interesting, we can add a bit of compression, EQ, and reverb. And now we can play a bunch of really cool pads based off that original texture. <laughs> 